and I'm doing it for my daughter. I got yeah. some um I got some interesting things I want to try with cows. No <laughs> shit, just the way you see it. No, just the way you see Straight it. shit over there. <laughs> Kissing it. <laughs> no, I, I but I wanna um I wanna like feed cows more than just traditional grass. I wanna like orange like, juice. Sort of, kind of like I want to. I want to. I want to um, dry out fruit and feed it to them in clothes and see if like grind it up and make like a like a edible mulch and see how if it changes the way their meat tastes. And stuff. Damn, that's gonna pelletize it. Yeah, yeah like, like, you can no, pelletize. just just like dry it out and then mulch it up. Bro. That's yeah. real because like, the the blueberry bear or whatever Joe talks about it once. Yeah, yeah. They, they would only eat blueberries and the the meat tastes like blueberries. That's what I'm saying. Of the bear. Of the, I think it's a bear. Yeah, the bear meat. The the biker bear, though, yeah. not the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying, bro. You try, like, different things with a cow. Like, mm. Imagine if you got a steak with a hint of citrus mm -hmm. naturally in it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it only comes from my farm. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I want to go there right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel bad, though, looking at him. No, then you, don't you have to, like, kill him quickly and, like, uh, they can't know... The they spiked bat. That's... <laughs> The Negan back. <laughs> you gotta kill your ex. <laughs> <laughs> the Negan back. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't, but I'm very interested in cows and wildlife, bro. Like, you probably feel the same way, bro. Like, the more money you make, the more popularity you get. You want to get away from everybody. I don't know. Well, I don't want to lose my edge. That's why I like living in, like, a medium-sized city. Is because it's what not... Do you mean you lose your edge? Like, I don't... Like, I live... My, the neighborhood that I'm in is, like, Hispanic people that play fucking that music all the time. And it so makes... you still it, need to be annoyed. It keeps <laughs> a base level of, like, annoyance where I'm, like... I what feel is, like I'm still connected to the world. You know what I mean? Huh, so maybe, I live on the woods. Maybe I don't need to move out of downtown Austin. Well, I just I just feel like if I, if I stop being annoyed, I'm not going to be as funny. Maybe I have a different perspective. That's how I feel. I feel like I need to maintain. Or just have them fuck up a lot. Well, how's the, um, who has moved, who has gone into the wilderness and maintained whatever it was that got them that level of creativity? Nobody. They turn weird. Yeah, I don't want to, I'm not ready. I'll turn weird. I'm ready. I'll, I'll do that when I'm like 70 maybe. Yeah. If I'm yeah, still alive. But I still, I still want my shit out there. I do want that. Yeah, because but like when I go to Georgia, bro, like I, I'm going to Georgia in like ten days, but it's I go there fish and just be outside looking at stars. It's just a way to decompress. Yeah, but it's like I know what you're saying because like I'll be in Georgia for like four days. I'm like, fuck, I got to go to the city. Yeah, I got to get out of here, man. Yeah, you're in the mood, you're all peaceful. You're not, you're, you're not mad anymore. I need anymore. that chaos. It's like bro, I'm over here getting nice and shit. I don't even want to roast no more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. complimentary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I get, I get what you're saying. Like, yeah, you can lose that edge, bro. I get, I get, I get bored quickly. I get bored quickly in Georgia. That's why I'm. I want to build like a compound where I got everything I need. I can fucking shoot. You got to try components of it first, too. Like, I, you know, I thought I wanted to open an antique shop. I think we got the show I opened an antique shop. It was, like, my lifelong hobby to open, like, a big, giant, fancy fucking shop full of dope shit. I opened it up, and it was the worst fucking thing I ever did. Damn, I wanted to 15% of the people that came in cool, 85% I wanted to literally, like, I wanted to throw cups <laughs> of shit at him. And I mean, the so thing about the, co the compound thing, though, is people who've done that, Rogan, Tim Poole, who else, who else do you know that's done that? Yeah, Tim Poole, he fucking, uh, Rogan got the compound at his studio. Yeah. But he goes home. Uh, but Tim Poole, bro, he's a fucking robot. But, like, people who've done that, does it seem like they they really enjoy that? Tim Poole is one of those people that I call the cyborg. He's kind of like Ben Shapiro. Mm -hmm. He's not like us. I don't feel like, and there's no disrespect to him, but I don't feel like we could go hang out with Tim Poole and have a good time because... We just don't like this. Like, I feel like, me, you can go to the bar right now and have a blast. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I couldn't do that with Tim Pool, even though that's my boy, because he's, like, he's very straight. He goes by the book, because I remember I had asked him to do something. He's like, no, I have to go to bed by... He gave me his run out. He's like, I do this at 9.30. Yeah. I do this at 10.15. Then yeah. by 11.30, I have to be in the bed. He's reading a bedtime story. I have to be, I have to be up at <laughs> 6.30 milk. to to stream to at 7. body. <laughs> no, he streams at 7. Put my BJ's on. <laughs> he streams at 7. That's 7 a.m. That's, that's too nice. much. Like, really? And, yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, he does that 5, like, because I was, like, trying to get him to come to shit. All he's like, I can't. We have my stream. But it's like, it's good he takes it like a job, and he's making buku-ass money over there. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, at like, my fishing show, I do it twice a month. I enjoy it, but I would not enjoy it if I had to film it every fucking day. Right. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And, like, this new podcast I'm about to roll out, we're going to do it once a week. Mm -hmm. That's all, like, I can't, I couldn't do this every day, all day. Right, yeah. 
You get burnt out. It's just fry. Your fucking brain falls off. I mean, we do it once a week. The only the only thing that was that I'm thinking is I've I've been to one of those houses of those guys that has like a compound, uh -huh. and it's kind of like um, it's like a bigger version of a man cave or something. Yeah, where might as well start a cult, right? You um, well, you think you think you want it. Like, I think I think I want a man cave with a pool table. Yeah, right. Yeah, but the guys that have those compounds, he had like like race car, fucking gym, uh, power, sauna, paddle boat, like ever all that bullshit. Huge home gym and shit. Pool, ten bedrooms. It just seemed like it. It, it was just like, you know that. What's the movie Big? Oh, you yeah. know the eighties movies where it's like the kids in a mansion all by himself. Right. Richie Rich. It is something like whack about that. And you still got to pay people to come hang with you, like Richie Rich. There's yeah. There's just there's just right. something about that that's it's not as fun as um. Take a helicopter it downtown. Seems, it seems Kansas. like it's not as fun as you think it would be. Mm. You know what I mean. And maybe I'm wrong. About no, that. it's it is sad. It's like when you throw no, good parties. I, I I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Like you you got this big, and I guess that's where rappers fuck up when they when they buy that big ass shit. They always rapper wanted. houses look boring as fuck. And then they got to put 15 people in it, and all y'all do is smoke weed and fuck bitches all day. Rich people, celebrity houses, they always fuck up. Yeah, they always look they look fucked up. Yeah, like did you see the house so and so bought? It looks like a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> And yeah. it's empty. <laughs> it's an empty piece of shit that they're paying a million dollars of property tax. Like, whatever. Travis Barker's a six-year-old man. His house looks like a piece of shit. I don't know. And Travis man. Barker's fucking whack house. He's like, he, his house like a 19-year-old girl. I like think, Olivia Rodriguez's I think house. it's important to stay, like, if you're working, it's important to stay, like, in the dirt. I get it. I think. Yeah. I don't know. You, I mean, you, you like, sit, you like, I think mid-level cities have a certain charm to them. That's how Macon is. Right. It's like, mid yeah. Macon is a town of 130,000. And, you know, I can... Where my, size, where, Macon where size, my, Chris. Where my house is at, I could drive six minutes to chaos. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's like, the perfect... <clears throat> yeah. That's good. Like, there's a little bit of... You understand? Y'all want to know something funny about Macon? What? We still in Macon. This is how backwards my city is. We still have a, a colored waiting room sign. <laughs> Really? Type it in. Mm -hmm. Colors waiting Where? room sign making. Downtown at, at the train Target? station. At the train station. <clears throat> and they cemented it. Really? They put it in cement. Yeah, there it is. Oh, God. <laughs> it looks newly. That looks like it was made in 1999. Bro, you want me to, <laughs> want me to tell you something? The last, this was like last year. I, was, I rarely go downtown. There's a couple of restaurants I go to downtown. But I was, uh, I was downtown. I happened to drive by the train station. And when I was there, there was a fucking black dude pressure washing it <laughs> to keep it like clean. I'm like, what the fuck? Shut wasn't up. pressure wasn't pressured watered the black person's enemy in the sixties? <laughs> That's like a racist cartoon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, fucking. That's like a stone toss cartoon. It, are white people allowed to wait in this waiting room? If they want, I believe. Okay. I hope so. What's the waiting room for? It's a train station. I don't oh, even know if a train station. still comes there. Uh, I sold antiques at an antique show. The guy would, they have remakes of like black toilet, white toilet next door to me. So these two Italian, I think they were like Albanians, cousins, messes from New Jersey would drive up with all these fake, you know, like the Michelin man, the fake steel things from like the South. Yeah. Colored, colored uh, bathroom over there. People would walk by, there'd be a fucking race riot every morning. Then would be like some woke chick would be like, you sell this bullshit? And then you'd be like, it's fucking remade. <laughs> <laughs> like from the back of the tent. What do you want me to fucking do? I found them in a factory. <laughs> and I'm like, holy I shit. I do some shit like that when I finish building my house. I put like colored restroom on it. <laughs> Whites only. Wish. Whites only. That'd be dope as hell. <clears throat> colored drinking fountain. Bumper sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you want me to tell you, uh, the reason I really believe what you're saying, Sam, is because... I rented this Airbnb while I was in Jersey. It was in New York. And I, we were so happy there. Like, hearing the chaos outside. Yeah. We were just so happy. Yeah. I was like, bro, I can stay here forever. I even called it. I'm like, how much, I was like, how much would you rent this, like, apartment out to me for a month? Mm. I love it here. <laughs> He's like, really? You sure? Your fucking car is getting broken into right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I get, I, I, I get where you're coming from with that. Like, even the place, like, I moved downtown because, like, I remember when I used to live downtown LA and then I moved to the valley. And bro, I couldn't sleep because I didn't hear any chaos. That's why I started learning how to fall asleep with the TV on. Like I need to hear the the bums. Like, mm -hmm. get your finger out of my ass. Yeah, yeah. Or like a bus honking or, or something, bro. I used to live above a 7-Eleven. Yeah. 
So you hear shit all night. So where in downtown Angela? Like on Fifth and Spring. Oh, Ooh, downtown is fucking wild. That's where Jet about. lives above a Seven Eleven. It's yeah. just like homeless people chaos all the time. Yeah, I love it. It's <clears throat> psychotic. L.A. though, you got for some goblins in L.A. Like especially downtown. L.A. Like, spooky, it's yeah. the only spot where I've actually been. Like, oh shit. We got chased. We got chased yeah. by some. Homeless you ran from somebody in L.A. in L.A. Yeah, as big as you are. I don't want to get Hep C. I feel, I, feel, I feel like this, man. Like I'm a big dude, bro. I'm 5'11", 350. Anybody who comes at me is either crazy or has a weapon. Yeah, yeah. Same with you. you wrong know. shape. Wrong shape for... That's what I said. You don't want to get someone's blood on you, man. Yeah, that's real. I just feel like at any time in LA, you could get like some rollerbladers walking around with mohawks just coming around a corner with some pipe. Like, it's just... It's the, scar- the scariest thing about downtown LA now is the robberies. That's the... Bro, I, I would never wear my watch out in LA. I'll follow you home. Hmm. 